The Australasian College of Podiatric Surgeons, the ACPS, is dedicated to promoting the highest standards of podiatric surgical practice and education. Hi, my name is Mark Gilhaney. I'm the current chair of the ACPS Education Board and in this role have led curriculum development and syllabus design. I bring decades of experience in education to the program, further developed via my Masters of Surgical Education from Melbourne University. Our program has recently undergone successful accreditation through the Australian Health Professionals Regulatory Authority, the regulatory body responsible for overseeing medical and healthcare practitioners in Australia. This is important to understand because accreditation means that our education program has been scrutinised and approved at the highest level against national standards. This affirming that the training podiatric surgeons receive from the ACPS continues to provide high level education as we have for over 30 years. Through research and continuing education, the ACPS ensures that our members remain at the forefront of foot and ankle surgery. Graduates of the ACPS between 2004 and the establishment of the National Accreditation and Regulation Scheme for Healthcare Professionals were accredited by the Commonwealth for the purpose of the Private Health Insurance Act. The ACPS training program is delivered in a three-stage approach incorporating horizontal and vertical integration into the syllabus. The curriculum design is informed by the Podiatry Board of Australia's published standards and capabilities for the speciality of podiatric surgery, which are benchmarked against national and international standards. Our program is a competency-based model and aims to exceed these benchmark standards adhering to evidence-based concepts of education, including the use of a spiralling curriculum design. As a result, trainees acquire the necessary skills, knowledge and professionalism required to begin work independently as a podiatric surgeon. The whole of program includes a minimum of four years undergraduate study two years pre-vocational training and six years postgraduate study in podiatric medicine and surgery. Throughout the program, registrars participate in a series of modules at each stage of training. Incorporating vertical and horizontal integrations, the program emphasises and revisits clinical themes, reinforcing such topics as perioperative assessment. There are clearly articulated learning outcomes and enabling outcomes for each module, building on the graduate capabilities of podiatrists. ACPS training involves a variety of educational activities, including immersion in hospital and office-based care, both perioperatively and operatively, formal lectures, tutorials, self-directed learning, workshops, interstate and regional rotations in foot and ankle surgery. In addition, there are rotations in medical and surgical specialties, peer review meetings, workplace assessments, case study presentation and publication, internationally recognised courses and participation in international rotations. This is all monitored and assessed through a variety of means including logbooks, reflections and examinations. Our trainees are also immersed in hospital and clinical based education. They actively participate in an average of 2,500 operative cases in all aspects of foot and ankle surgery as well as broader medical and surgical rotations. Additionally, international preceptorships and peer-reviewed journal publications are included in the expansion and consolidation stages. These rotations provide valuable insights into the role of podiatric surgery in different health systems and an opportunity to gain valuable additional experience in complex cases and complication management in multidisciplinary environments. Typically, our trainees spend these rotations working with a range of healthcare professionals, including orthopaedic surgeons. Entry into the ACPS program involves a stringent eligibility process which employs a multimodal methodology for ranking applicants before their selection. Selection is determined by a dedicated committee of the college. This program requires all potential candidates to possess at least two years of pre-vocational experience following successful completion of a four-year degree in podiatric medicine. Some may also hold medical degrees. Structured similarly to a university modular design, our program must meet the minimal educational requirements of a doctoral level Australian Qualifications Framework Level 9. The speciality of podiatric surgery derives its origin from the podiatry profession. Similar to oral surgery in dentistry or nurse practitioner in nursing, podiatric surgeons bring a unique set of skills and expertise to healthcare. The scope to perform surgery is not limited to a single professional group as many medical, dental, podiatric and nursing professionals perform various procedures. 
Whilst a medical degree is not mandatory to become a podiatric surgeon, podiatric surgeons undergo comprehensive training in perioperative medicine as part of the ACPS program. Podiatric surgery is widely recognised and respected as a speciality, fully integrated in countries like the USA and the UK. In these countries, medical degrees are also not mandatory prerequisites for podiatrists performing surgery. Given the procedural and pharmacologic scope and training of podiatrists, mandating a medical degree is generally considered an inefficient use of resources. The comprehensive training received by podiatric surgeons aligns with international models and provides them with a thorough understanding of the unique anatomy and function of the foot and ankle. Patients benefit from specialised comprehensive care, including diagnosis, treatment and post-operative care as a result. Our program also ensures that registrars can experience the role of podiatric surgery in multidisciplinary environments on an international scale. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm a Foundation Stage Registrar with the Australasian College of Podiatric Surgeons. I commenced my training in February 2023 and have thoroughly enjoyed the experience so far. I am undertaking several courses in perioperative patient care and advanced life support to supplement the perioperative medical modules in our curriculum. The close involvement with patients in the clinic to see how surgical care is integrated with non-surgical care is both interesting and I think extremely important. I have already completed one formative cadaver-based workshop with the college. This was an enjoyable experience. Learning and teaching activities like this, I believe, are essential to developing my skills. This journey to become a podiatric surgeon is definitely a challenging one, but thus far I have found the college to be supportive, affording flexibility to maintain my work-life balance. In Australia, the title of podiatric surgeon has been legally recognised and protected since 2010, as has the specialty status. Ongoing professional development is a crucial component of maintaining accreditation as a podiatric surgeon. To keep up with the latest advances in their field, podiatric surgeons must undergo mandatory continuing education and peer review. Whilst complications from surgery do occur in every field, podiatric surgery is incredibly safe and boasts an impressive record of delivering high quality care. Research conducted between 2014 and 2017 has established that patient satisfaction and positive outcomes are the norm. This is further evidenced by ACPS national audit data covering 20,000 admissions from 2012 to 2022, which shows a readmission rate of just 0.3%. Disappointingly, at this point in time, funding for podiatric surgery is limited due to the lack of MBS recognition from the federal government. From a training and outcomes perspective, this is a concern. True collaborative care and indeed management of adverse events from surgery if they occur require funding equalisation. Australians continue to benefit from podiatric surgery every year, restoring or preserving their mobility and improving their quality of life. In addition to their extensive qualifications and skills, podiatric surgeons are dedicated to helping their fellow Australians live fulfilling lives. In Australia, the Australasian College of Podiatric Surgeons remains committed to excellence, innovation and advancement of podiatric surgery. By working together, we aim to provide the highest quality of care and empower individuals with mobility.